So our first problem, we have the absolute value of 3x minus 9 equals 18. The one way of handling ab equations with absolute values is to turn it into two equations without an absolute value. Because by definition, the absolute value says that 3x minus 9 could be equal to 18, or 3x minus 9 could be equal to negative 18. And we'll just solve each of these equations now independently. So we can add 9 to both sides, and we get 3x equals 27. Dividing by 3, one answer we get is x equals 9. We're actually going to do the exact same steps on the other one. We're going to add 9 to both sides, and we get 3x equals a negative 9. Divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals negative 3. We can do this similar process in the second one, number 2, which is, excuse me, 3 times the absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 24. Now, the only thing that I would do is if there is something outside the absolute value, take care of that first and get isolate the absolute value. So we'll divide both sides by 3, and we actually get the absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 8. And we'll handle this now exactly as we did in number 1. So we have two equations. We have 2x minus 1 could be a positive 8, or 2x minus 1 could be a negative 8. And we'll solve each of these separately. So we add 1. So we get 2x equals 9. Dividing by 2, one of our answers is x equals 9 halves. And the other one, we add 1. We get 2x equals negative 7. Dividing by 2, we get x equals negative 7 halves. So take care of anything outside the absolute value first, and then go ahead and get your two equations. Now the third one looks a little bit different because we have an absolute value on both sides. So we get the absolute value of 1 minus 2x equals the absolute value of x plus 1. Now first it may seem like we have four cases because we've got to do the positive and negative for the absolute value. We actually only need to do that on one side. If we do it on both sides, we're doing, we're doing the same thing twice. So, when we drop the absolute values, and we can pick either side, whichever one we think will be easier. One of my equations will be 1 minus 2x equals x plus 1. That's the positive case. The negative case is going to be 1 minus 2x equals negative, and you should use parentheses around whatever was inside the absolute value, x plus 1. So, if we go to solve our first one, we might add 2x to both sides, then subtract 1. So we are going to get 0 equals 3x. Dividing by 3 is going to give us x equals 0. And there's one of our answers. Now remember, you can always plug your answer back into the original to check. It's going to be real similar in the second one, but we do need to distribute that negative first. So we're going to have 1 minus 2x equals negative x minus 1. I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And the only difference here is I'll actually add 1 to both sides instead of subtracting it. And so I get 2 equals positive x. And so x equals 2 is our second answer. And that's how we can handle absolute values when we have them in equations.